How to create a box plot, also known as a box and whisker graph. So this is what a box plot looks like. And it looks like this, these are test scores from a particular class. Essentially what a box plot is, it breaks the data into four quarters, called quartiles. So this would be 25% of the class here, this would be one-fourth of the class, this would be one-fourth of the class, and this would be 25% of the class. Now in this video, we're going to learn how to make a box plot, and in the next video, we'll look at how you read or interpret box plots. So how do I make one? Well, here we have some gas mileage for 10 different cars. And the first thing you want to do when you're making a box plot is you want to take all your data and you want to place it in order from least to greatest, which we've done down here. The next thing we want to do is we want to find the median value of all the data. We want to find that middle number. So the middle number of all this data would be the average of these two numbers. And the average of these two numbers would be 19.5. So the median, the median car gets 19 and a half gallons of gas. Now after we find our median, we want to look at the bottom 50% of the data. We're going to look at the bottom half of the data. And we want to find the median of the bottom half. So the median of the bottom half of the data would be 16. Then we're going to take a look at the top 50% of the data, or the top half. And we want to find the median of the top half of the data. And that would be 26. Now this particular unit has a lot of vocabulary in it. This of course is our median. And that's the middle of all the data. This is sometimes referred to as the lower median. And this is sometimes referred to as the upper median. Now you'll probably see this called the first quartile more than you will the lower median. And this is our third quartile. And they get their names from, if you remember, a box plot takes all the data and divides it into quarters. This is called the first quarter because this is the first quarter of data. And this is our third quartile because it represents three quarters of the data. Okay, let's start forming our box and whisker graph. So our median was 19 and a half. Um, the median car gets 19 and a half gallons, miles per gallon. So I'm going to make a mark here at 19 and a half. Our first quartile was 16, and our third quartile was at 26. So I'm going to go ahead and make my box. Now the box represents the middle 50% of the data. The box represents the middle 50% of the data. Okay, let's look at the smallest value, also known as the minimum. So the car that got the least gas mileage was 12 miles per gallon. Now, something that's important here, this dot doesn't mean that's just one car. That could actually represent multiple cars. The greatest piece of data, the largest piece of data, our maximum value, is 40. And again, this doesn't mean that's just one car. I'm going to go ahead and draw my whiskers. So here's what we've done. 25% of the cars get gas mileage between these two values. 25% of the cars get gas mileage here. 25% here. And 25% of the cars get gas mileage between those two values. So a box plot takes all the data. So here is all our data. And it breaks it into quarters. All right, let's look at another example. So 11 students were surveyed and they were asked how many states they've visited in their lifetime. Remember, the first thing we want to do is take our data and put it in order from least to greatest. So one student has visited two states. Two students have visited three states. One student has visited five. One student has visited seven, nine. Two students have been to 12 states. One student has been to 15. And one student has been to 16 states. Now before I start, I always like to make sure I have all the data. There were 11 students. Oh, I forgot 17. There were 11 students that were surveyed. Let me just make sure I have all 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Okay, 
got all 11 students. So after we have arranged our data, we want to find the median value. Now because this is an odd number, this is going to be easy to find the median. We've got five students on this side, five students on this side. The median value is 9. So I'm going to make, on the number line, I'm going to start constructing my box. So there's our median. All right, we need to look at the bottom 50% of the data. We need to find the median of the lower 50%. And that's easy. That would be 3. So I'm going to put a line right here representing our first quartile or lower median. Now we're going to take a look at the upper 50% of the data and we're going to find the median there which would be 15. And I'm going to make a mark. So 15 is our upper median or our third quartile. And I'm going to go ahead and make my box. Now remember the box represents 50% of the data. So there's 50% of the kids represented right there. The lowest piece of data, or the minimum, oh, was 2. So I'm going to make a dot right here. Make my whisker. The maximum value, or the largest piece of data, was 17. So there you go. There's your box and whisker, your box plot. 25% of the students have been to this many states. 25% to this many, 25% have been to this many states, and 25% have visited between 15 and 17 states. Let's do one more example. So here we have eight students were asked how many Twizzlers they eat in a week. And here are the results of those eight students. Now I've already placed the data in order, least to greatest. And you're going to notice we have an even amount of numbers in this data set. So let's see what happens here. Uh, we need to find our median and our middle number we've got a tie here between 15 and 16. So if I average 15 and 16 it'd be 15.5. So our median is 15.5. Okay, now we're going to look at the lower 50% the lower half of the data, and I'm going to find the median of the lower half. Well, again, we have a tie uh, between 5 and 15, so I'm going to average those two numbers. 5 and 15 is 20, 20 divided by 2 is 10, so our lower median, or our first quartile, is 10. Let's look at the upper half of the data, and we have a tie here between these two numbers, and our upper median, or our third quartile, would be 19. The average of 18 and 20 is 19. Okay, let's begin constructing our box and whisker. So the median was 15 and a half. The first quartile was 10. The third quartile was 19. And I'm going to go ahead and make my box. So that's 50% of your data right there. The minimum value was 5 and the maximum value was 28. So I'm, uh, I'm going to extend my number line here. So 25% of the students ate this many Twizzlers. 25% of the students ate this many. 25% ate this many. And 25% ate this many. And remember, the box represents 50%, the middle 50% of the data. Uh, one last thing I want to point out, you'll notice if you look at this dot here, that actually represents two students. There were two students that ate five Twizzlers in a week. So remember, just because there's one dot here doesn't mean that's just one piece of data. That could represent five, six, seven students perhaps. Okay, so to wrap it up, just, just remember a box plot, all it does, it takes all the data and it breaks it up into quartiles, into quarters.